Alright, how's it going guys? We're back and we're gonna try fiddling with the solar tower thing again. Last time we set up making a whole bunch of mirrors over here. So we're gonna grab all of those and we're gonna get started. And we're gonna see just how hot one of these can get and see if we can run our heat exchanger off of it. So we have our heat exchanger here, which is heated up to 273 already. So let's take these two out of here and we're going to have to get rid of that. And the solar tower is going to have to sit, like, right there. Which is going to drop us a bunch of heat. And now we're just going to start putting mirrors all around this thing. And see if we can get the heat to go up hot enough to make steam. Now we're at 230, 240, 50, 58, 60. I think we might actually be able to do it. Now we're at 300. Now it's going to become nighttime and we're going to lose temperature for a bit. We're going to lose our sunlight, which we're starting to lose already. I want to see... I need a bunch of copper plates. Which, by the way, I expanded the copper plate area a lot. Let's get a bunch more of these. Because I have a weird idea. Since this thing will actually get above... Uh, the normal amount. My idea is we take, uh, what do I need to make another one of these? I need some copper and some iron. Okay, that and that. And what the hell we need the steel for? There we go, we'll make one more of these real quick. Because the idea I came up with is, well at least what I'm thinking at the moment, is you can't have like two of these together with a tower. But we could put one on either side of a tower. Like that. 
and then we can put a turbine off of it. And that's my idea. Uh, let's stop that for a minute. I can just grab some of these and just make that directly. And I don't know if we're going to have enough to do this, but that's my idea. Is we could do it like well, technically we could do it like, if we could get enough, we could do it like that and then we could put another one over here and another one over there. It's going to take a lot of room to do this. But I think it'll be interesting if we can. Alright, so our sunlight's going back up. And we've hit... 420 now so we're definitely going to hit the 500 and that's only with 25 mirrors around it so that's not bad Temperatures at 470. It says there's a neighbor bonus for these. So that means we should be able to kind of tile these, but I'm not sure how the mirrors would work. All right, we're at 500 degrees. So we're now making steam. All right, so let's try this. Let's get all this out of here. Now that we know we can definitely do this. And I'm going to just tear all of this out. Give me a minute. Let me get this idea built and I'll be back with you. All right. So this is my idea so far. I put in one of these burning heaters just for a preheater to help heat up the system and you can see we're well above what that can do anymore so it's shut off and I've filled in a pretty big area here. You can actually see when you hover over the tower that they have a pretty big range so we could go even further out here if we want and then I've got three of these put in here I do need one more pipe right there so we can get water across the system and all of them are heating up we're at 400 so we're just about ready to hit five and then these should kick on and make us a decent amount of power and there we go we are now making power with our solar tower and yeah we're going above 500 I don't know what the max is on this thing but we're going above 510 so we're doing good these can go up to a thousand if I remember correctly And we've got tons of power now. So that will be nice because now I want to start changing over a lot of our uh, miners down here to electric. 
I don't think I'm going to pull out the ones we already have. But I think I might start putting in electric ones for the uh, the other area. Or I'm, what I might do is I might take these out and uh, move them down here or vice versa. Or take all these out and just let them do the um, coal and change these over to electric. All right, so now we know we have a lot of power. So let's get, why do you not have uh, steam? You're going over to there. Uh, we can just do this. There. Now you have steam. And now that should as well. And we could always um, start turning these off and output the excess steam that we have over here, over there. Because, you know, we're doing pretty nice on our power. We're at 599 we're sitting at right now. So we could output that over here to kind of conserve on our coal there if we wanted to. But I also want to look at getting our uh, blue science done today. Which we're going to run on this line here. And for the blue science, we need engines, steel mechanical parts, and circuits. And the engines we already are making, but I don't know that we're making enough of them. Uh, start putting this in here. And we'll just put the output along the bottom here. And we actually want to do this. This is going to be, well, actually... Um, well... We'll leave it like that for now. And we can bring our circuits over. Now the question is, this takes 18 seconds to craft. So we are going to need a lot of those. But I don't know that we're going to need a ton of these. Because these craft one every four seconds. And I'm just wondering if I want to bring them over. Yeah, I'm thinking we can just do this. At least for right now. We may change this idea later. But if we just bring these over here. And then put these in here with it. If I put it in the right spot. And then we can just run both of these across here. 
and down and have them go right there. That'll give us that part. Then the only other thing we need is to get the mechanical parts there. And why in the world did that? Oh, because of this. Uh, we can fix that. We'll just do this. That'll take care of that. Alright, so now take this out, put that in. We can send the mechanical parts over and down the line as well. Alright, so now we have our loader here. We can just set these. Um, no, I did that wrong. Um, that's got too many. I only need that. I knew something looked wrong. That, that, that. I need some pipes. Although, why am I using... I only need to supply steam to the insert. We've got tons of power now. Stop messing with the steam ones. And just use regular ones. And then I just need one pipe to do that. And there we go. We are now making our blue science, which is going to be coming across here. So now we just got to get these in here. Uh, this one's going to be a problem. Because uh, we need that. So we'll have to do that. Oh, we don't have a we don't have one there. Okay, so we can just do this, have that one go there, and then this. And now we should have our blue ones. Here they come. So now we can start automation, which will give us assembly machines and metalworks. So let's start on that one. There's my circuit network I wanted. And fast inserters, so we'll probably do those next. We'll have to see just how many of these we need to get this done. I'm guessing we're going to need a lot more of these since they only make one every 18 seconds or something like that. Just copy this. 
put it there. And I'm out of robot things. I'm out of a lot of things. So let me go get some nanobots and fill this up and we'll see just how many of these we need. Alright, let's see if this is enough. We can amazingly do go right ahead to Automation 2. So let's do that. And you can see I have advanced this quite a bit. We'll see if that is finally enough. I've got... Thirty-two of them up there. Which looks like it should definitely be enough to keep us going. Because they do look like they're going down on this side. But they're filling up on this side because we're only doing one line of them. So we should be good. We've got um we don't have enough engines coming through. We're definitely gonna have to upgrade the amount of engines we're making. Because we have eight through every bit of our engine production. Which isn't a problem, because we've got plenty of room up here to add in more if I could just figure out how I'm getting through this mess. I really need to start changing these over to regular inserters so I can get rid of those pipes. But for right now, we're just going to continue what we started here. There we go. We got Automation 2 done quite quickly. So we'll go ahead and start on those and then we can start changing around this whole area. Once we get the fast inserters done there, we'll start making our regular insert, our regular assembly machines and go ahead and upgrade them to the blue ones automatically. We'll see if that's enough to keep the engines going for now, but uh, once we upgrade those, we can start changing out all of these. And power is still way less then what we're making out of our solar down there. Our solar is doing really nicely. Our power is at 598 and holding. So we'll have to keep an eye on it as we uh, get more electric in here and see what we can do. I'm thinking maybe we can try to take out like one row of solar here, put more in out around and copy this up there. It's weird that we don't, it says there's a neighbor bonus, but I don't see it. Alright, so the fast inserters are done, 
And I'm going to go ahead and do the circuitry so I can have my wires. Crushers I'm not real worried about right now. Let's see how this is looking. Yeah, that is completely backed up over there. So I'd say we put in plenty of those at least for now and I think for the engines we when we make the uh, assembly machines we'll just put them in up here and make our engines right above there um, but if you notice these are going to need electric engine units these those are not, but they are going to take more circuits. So we're probably going to have to upgrade the circuit area again. Uh, which I'm thinking we're going to make a whole... We're going to use this design because I think this design works well. But I think we're going to make a new area for doing so. But I think that's going to be it for today. We've gotten into blue science, got a bit of it done. Uh, all of our red and greens look fine. Blue looks great. Even with the amount of engines we have coming in. Circuits are getting bad, so we're definitely going to have to deal with that. And I guess... We've got electric furnaces. Let's go ahead and get those researched. And then we'll start on uh, plastic next. And we'll start making a uh, better smelting area. Better miners. All that good stuff. So I'll see you guys next time.